So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paula Gilmore and I am the host of CPD Live and the publisher at CPD for me. Today's update is uh, we have a 2019 property update. Emma Ellsworth is a senior property lawyer practicing exclusively in property law in Victoria since 2002. Your learning outcomes for today are we're going to be providing an update regarding the current, current property market in Victoria and nationally. Um, normally this would have taken half that time. He was diligent. Um, he provided all details of his portfolio, but the banks simply can't um, process the approvals as quickly as we might like to think as once was previously done. And I think that's by reason of the changes brought about by the Royal Commission. Also, good due diligence is needed when a client is proceeding in this market. Um, what we're seeing at the moment is um, a dampening effect for off the plan properties, um, especially tower apartments in Melbourne. They need to do good due diligence about what the value of this property will be at settlement. What would the bank's valuer do based on the data that they have in this uh, suburb or, or area for a building of this type? What would a valuer put on the value of that property at settlement? That will guide um, the, the loan approval that they get at settlement and how much they can borrow. So um, moving on to um, slide two about the current market conditions. Um, I think we will see more clients failing to obtain finance approval as projects now head towards completion. And what are those clients going to do? Um, here in Victoria, under our general contract of sale, a vendor has a right to go after a purchaser within 12 months of the date of the default or failure to complete. I don't know if we'll see litigation in this area. Um, I haven't had any clients that are the subject of legal proceedings after the deposit has been forfeited and the vendor is claiming further loss and damage. But that's not to say that we may see that in the next year or few years. So if a client isn't able to complete, robust advice needs to be given about what their potential exposure will be. Um, bearing in mind in Victoria, it's capped at 12 months. The vendor has only 12 months to come after your purchaser client. Mm -hmm.